Hi everybody, it's Dara and we are going to prepare a raw food smoothie. Why raw food? Why living food? Because living food is live. It's got the enzymes intact. We came into this lifetime with a certain amount of enz enzymes and they get depleted. And that's why we, one of the many reasons we want to eat living food is because the enzymes haven't been cooked out of it. So we are replenishing ourselves. So I would say that this smoothie we're about to make is a youth enhancing smoothie, a prevent disease smoothie, and definitely a beauty smoothie. It's filled with antioxidants. Dogs, stop playing right here. <laughs> They're very noisy. Okay, so we are using coconut water, or you could use regular water. It's about a cup and a half. And we're using, no, we're using raspberries, which are filled with an enormous amount of antioxidants. And these are the basics that are going in the smoothie. And we have vanilla, divine organics, and all this is is vanilla beans ground up. So we are going to put a titch of that in. You should see the dogs, it's hilarious. Ruben's lying down and Roxy's pawing at her and they're just talking to each other. So it sounds weird, but it's actually really playful and really cute. So now she left because she knows I'm talking about her, Roxy and Ruben. Okay, so now we have coconut water, raspberries, vanilla. We could call this a day, but to take it over the top, we're going to add chia seeds. And chia seeds are, I think, the one food that I wouldn't ever want to live without. Why? Because they are detoxifying. They act as like little scrubbing bubbles in our intestines and pull out junk. They have protein, which everybody says, how do you get your protein? You're vegan. How do you get your protein? I get a lot of protein from my leafy greens. Protein is built by amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and leafy greens have an enormous amount of amino acids. That being said, adding chia seeds to your diet adds protein. It also adds essential fatty acids, which we really need for our brains and our nervous system, and it helps our thyroid. And so these are just a superfood, and... I'm going to add a couple tablespoons because that is the recommended dosage, but you can have more for sure. The thing is, is these are also extremely hydrating and they are filling. So they're a wonderful weight loss food as well. They actually, I noticed the difference. If I made this smoothie without the chia seeds, I would be hungry faster. When I add the chia seeds, I not only have more energy, but I'm fuller for longer. And this is where we can get fancy if we like. And I like to look at my blended drinks as an opportunity to add really good for me things in there that I wouldn't normally otherwise eat. Like spirulina and chlorella, pine pollen, these are all proteins. So if we want the added proteins, let's say we're working out or we're concerned at all that we're not getting enough protein, adding greens or adding this kind of, this is from Elemental Wisdom. And it's a wonderful company, Elemental Wisdom. It's with a Z, I'll post the link below. And he has, Adam has so many amazing, I mean, there's, there's cordyceps and reishi and enzymes and things like lion's mane. This is really good for your brain too. So he is a super legitimate fellow who's like the food police. He knows what's good, what's not good, what shouldn't be put into your food, what you should not be eating. I mean, I'm happy-go-lucky like, and he like knows what's going on. So I really have to give props to him. So also his other products that I love are Mystic Enzymes, okay? So I was talking about enzymes. Enzymes help us digest food. And so I'm gonna put a little scoop of this in. And I also like to use his probiotics. I've been really, a lot of people, this is the buzz, is that we want probiotics because if we've at all taken any antibiotics in our life, which we have in our lives, we want to make sure that we replenish healthy flora because there's a lot of bad bacteria around. And if bad bacteria and germs killed us, we would all not be here. They don't. It's up to us to create a healthy system, a healthy ecology in our bodies where there's enough healthy flora to combat 
the unhealthy, the bad bacteria. Um, so it's our jobs to eat this way so that we are building up our immune system with the antioxidants. We are building up the enzymes, the probiotics. We're building up a healthy body so that we are not taken down by things that are going around. So we want to build our immune system. We want to be alkaline. We want to have a healthy flora in our intestines and eating a high raw plant-based diet will do that provided you also do other things in the lifestyle. It's not just a diet. I don't even like the word diet, although it's a perfectly usable word. I think that it's a lifestyle in that it's making the best choices whenever possible, wherever possible, knowing what those choices are and making it our business to do that, making it our business to make food a priority. I always think, you know, we never as humans would ever live anywhere where there wasn't an adequate food supply. If there wasn't, we would move on. And so I'm suggesting that we consider food to be our very first, first consideration, shelter, food, and so that we can be healthy and so that we can, I think the whole premise of this whole thing in my life is to be clean, clear, and bright. So we clean up our intestines, we clean up our cells, we clean up our blood, we clean up our lymph system, everything, all the chi and the energy is flowing in our bodies. So all of the good nutrients, everything, the good oxygen gets to our organs, our brain, our hearts, we're clean and clear and we can feel what it is, <laughs> what it is we're here to do and have the energy to do it and not spend our time in the doctor's offices or heaven forbid hospitals. We wanna be in healing places. If for some reason that we aren't well and we do get a health opportunity, it's our body's way of saying, uh, let's go a different path. It's actually a blessing because then we can wake up and say, ah, I might wanna have more of these. And so we can go a different route. And if we need to go to a healing place, Go to a place that has some outdoor area and they're feeding you wheatgrass and raw food and sit under a tree and get fresh air and sunlight and good food and laughter because you can eat the best diet in the world, but if there's stress and negative thinking and not all the positivity that we need to surround ourselves with, the best diet in the world will not help us. It is a combination of many things. So somebody said to me something interesting. Ah, it was Peter. He said... You're a commentator on life. It's not just about the food. The food is the very beginning. The food is how we show our bodies love. It's how we get rid of yucky stuff that we put in unwittingly and wittingly and how we clean up and get clear and love ourselves so we can love other people and have more love in our lives. Get this. We know that when we give love, we receive love, but let's take it a step further. When we give love to somebody who's open and willing to receive that love in the form of feng shui information, in the form of giving raw food information, in the form of feeding, and when somebody receives your food or whatever you're giving to them with openness, that love goes through them and it comes back out of them with more infused love from them and it goes to you and then it comes back again. So this is, it's this incredible cycle. So what I've noticed is that it's so much fun to give to somebody who's open and willing to receive that the love that comes back is extraordinary. That just happened to me or with me and uh, my mom-in-law, my Boca mom, when I was there, I mean, I just gave because I wanted to. And her love that came back to me filled me with so much love that the serendipities I received on the way home from Florida were extraordinary. So I will tell you that story next time. But there was a beautiful, beautiful story of what transpired in the air before I even landed in, in, um, in uh, California. So... I will share that another time. But for now, I'm going to tell you that if I want to make this sweet, which I do, I could add a date and a banana, or just a banana. Um, you could add a little bit of stevia, a little bit of honey, whatever you want to do to sweeten it up a little bit. Because nothing's too, it shouldn't be too, but it's not that sweet. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I put the chia seeds in, everything's in. If I wanted to make it creamy, 
a tablespoon or two of hemp, which is what I have in this bag right here. I might as well use it up. Now this smoothie is going to go to Herbie, my 85-year young dad who has just adopted this whole lifestyle and is feeling fantastic. So I'm going to make him this beautiful pink smoothie because I already had mine because I already made the video, made the smoothie, and then realized the video didn't record. <laughs> so I told everybody I was on a chat with More With Dara, which is our community site you can join. I told them we were on a rogue chat that just started. It was a live chat, and everybody's on there. And, and I said, oh, no, the video I just made didn't post. And they went, oh no, that's a bummer. And I said, no, it's a chance to, for me to show myself perseverance. It's a chance for me to show how committed I am. And the more committed we are, the more the um, universe rewards us because they, it's, we're serious. We're serious about what we do. Nothing little, like not, no video posting is going to stop me because what I want to do is communicate with you. So if that's what I want, then I just do it again. That's all. And so perseverance is extremely important. So this is a prevent disease beautifying. It's good for your skin. It's good for everything. It's hydrating. A beautifying prevent disease detoxifying satisfying weight loss smoothie. I mean, wow. Happy day, everybody. Get your greens on. I've already tasted this. I know it tastes really good. I hope you try it. Get your greens on, and I will see you guys really, really soon.